And I was like, for real? She was like, yeah. This, then she said, you got a condom? I said, baby girl, you know I stay strapped. Of course I got a condom. She, then she was like, okay. Come downstairs to my room. That was game dripping on my neck, I sauced up. I walked in that club, all bust up. Man, I feel like Michael Jackson. I'm too bad, too clean, you toss up. I just wanna live my life. Lavish, that means that my style gon' cost up. I want like all of it, I need the money. Look at my watch on my wrist, I'll foster. I had a kid to go get it. 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 What up, Moolah Gang? Gang! Gang, it's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac, and I am back with another video. In today's video, I got another story time. I know y'all love these story times so much, so I'm gonna keep pumping them out for you. Now, I know I had had a story time a couple times about how I lost my virginity, but I never told y'all the story of the first time I took a girl's virginity. So that's what I'm about to do. Hopefully, it helps all my fellas and my ladies out there get through their little shit, and if not, maybe it's just entertaining. I don't know, but it's gonna be funny, so watch the video. Before I get into the video, though, make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button. Down below, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Follow your boy on Instagram. If you aren't already and get in them comment sections and let me know did you ever take a girl's virginity or girls No, I mean the girls y'all ain't gotta say nothing because I know y'all don't like putting y'all business out there like that So all my fellas, let me know. Let me know. Without further ado, let's get into the video Hey video video bring your ass over here. So your boy was 16 now Mac Moolah, I lost my virginity when I was 15 and just to give a little backstory I don't know if y'all know this, but I know all my fellas know this when you turn like 14 years old and puberty hits you, you a squirrel trying to catch a nut. You don't really care too much about none of that other extra shit. You just trying to catch you a nut. But I know y'all know how hard it was. Well, it was hard for me. I don't know. These kids are different now. I don't know. But when I was young, it was hard for you to like get a girl that you feel me go crazy with you in the bedroom. Because it's like she young. She ain't really trying to do it like that. You know what I'm saying? All her pops and big brothers and shit in her ear telling her not to do it with no any any nigga. So like she expects you to goddamn get a Cinderella slip and put it on nigga before she give it up, you feel me? So what's your boy start doing? When I turn, I'm 14, I graduated eighth grade, I'm like, there is no way I'm finna go my whole freshman year of high school without going crazy. It's just not happening. So I was 15, I started lying to girls, saying that I was older, end up lying to this girl that was almost 17, told her I was 16, finna be 17, end up hitting them, and that's how I lost my virginity. Now in this story, I was 16. Now believe it or not, 15 all the way to 16, I my body count was four. I had four girls that I had went crazy with in the bed. Now, even though I had four girls, four different girls that I went crazy with in the bedroom, none of them was virgin. I'm not the person that took their virginity. And even the girl that took my virginity, she didn't know she took my virginity. And the reason behind that was, like I said, all the girls that was virgins already, they was trying to, you know what I'm saying, damn, they get married before you got some cuckoo. I'm like, baby, I'm not finna wait for all this shit. I'm just finna find the girls that already done went crazy, already freaky diggies with, with the get down, and I'ma just get down with them. But I start talking to this one girl. Of course, she was a Latina. Well, actually, she was half Latina and half black, so black Tina. And she went to another school than me. At this point, I was a sophomore and she was a freshman. Now, when we first started talking, I got at her on Instagram. Now, the way we first started talking was Instagram. Back in the day, y'all know the To Be Honest post was busting. I don't know if they still busting, but they was back then. So, like, you know what I'm saying? She put a little To Be Honest thing. I double tapped on that thing. She said, To Be Honest, you cute, you cool, you flea, but I don't know you. So, I'm like, bet. She said, I'm cute, cool, flea. That's all I need, baby. What's your number? So, you already know I slid up in them comment section because I don't even think DM, Instagram DMs even out back then. So I stood up under them comments, I put some emojis, and I said number, question mark, she sent that number through. So now we texting, I'm putting my Mac on, y'all already know how Mac move I do. Now it only took us two or three days before we actually linked up and we met up downtown Chicago. Now, back in the day, that's just what kids used to do, like niggas our age, we used to just pop out downtown, go downtown, and a whole bunch of kids be downtown doing a whole bunch of dumb shit. So one day I told her I was going downtown on a Saturday, she was like, okay, I'll meet you, we met at the mall, we was kicking it for the whole day. Now, as soon as we met, it seemed like we already went together. That happened a lot with me, with Mac Moolah. I don't know if I just got the juice or the sauce. But usually when I meet a girl, and not, not every time, but usually when I meet a girl, like, we usually kind of click. Or usually it's already seemed like we've been going together for a little minute. So that's how I felt, you feel me? She didn't pull me away from my friends. I pulled her away from my, her friends, you know what I'm saying? We walking around the mall, like, we've been going together for six years. Kicking it, flirting, kissing, hugging, touching on each other, all type of shit. So she already got my juices jumping, right? So we end up at, so, so look, we end up by the elevator, right? We in the mall by the elevator. And the elevator was taking long as hell, so she was like, 
leaning on the little banister thing, right? So I end up coming up behind her. I grab that booty and say, come here, girl. You looking good. I start giving her them smooches. She like, oh my God, stop. You finna turn me on in the middle of the mall. I'm, I'm turning you on, baby. I'm I'm turning you on, baby. So then that's when, like, we start talking all freaky and shit. Now, like I said, I'm not a virgin. I done had, you know what I'm saying, four different experiences with four different girls by the time I was 16. But she was 15. And she said, she said from the jump, like, she was a virgin. She never really did nothing like that. But she did say that she got her cootie cat ate. So immediately, so so when she, now when she said that, I ain't gonna lie. Your boy Mac Moolah was finna leave them all. Cause at that point, 16, I'm like, I ain't eating no cootie cat. That's nasty. I'm not doing it. I'm never doing it. It's not happening. So she probably expect me to do that right now, and I'm not finna do it. But she was so fine. She was so fine, and I'm like, okay, let me see if like you feel me. Let me see if I could like, you know what I'm saying, get with her for a little minute. Let's see what it's let's see what it's going. So fast forward four months. Yes, four months. This girl had me waiting for four months. And I ain't even gonna lie. Through them four months, I wasn't even messing with no girls. I couldn't. I was scared. Cause she was fine as hell. Plus, I was kinda happy that, you know what I'm saying, she was a virgin. You feel me? Cause she was fine. We was clicking, and like I said, she was a virgin, so she ain't really been with nobody yet. So now with all that shit clicking my head, I'm on a mission. I'm like, I gotta get this girl. I gotta, I can feel me. I gotta snatch her up. I gotta, I gotta make her mine. So that's what I do. Four months went by, make her my girlfriend. Boom. Now she didn't tell me that it was gonna take me to make her my girlfriend for her to lose her virginity to me, right? But after I already made her my girlfriend, that's when she told me. She was like, you know, now that we boyfriend and girlfriend, I think, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna lose my virginity to you. I'm like. Ah, uh, 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 you are, you are, you are doing with me, baby. You trying to go crazy? Well, let's go crazy again. Ah, what's happening? Shit. But this was actually hard. But this was gonna be real hard because, like, she lived with her dad, right? She had her mom and her dad in her life, but she mainly lived with her dad. And her little sister lived in the house with her too. And me, I'm the only child, so I lived with my mom, my dad, and then it was me. But we didn't go to the same school. She actually went to Simeon. I'm gonna tell y'all know it was Chicago. She went to Simeon, right? Simeon is like a good 30 minute drive from where I live, and I went to school right down the street from my creek. Neither one of us had cars. We really didn't have no money like that. We was young as hell. So we like, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm getting all all devious in the head trying to figure out how I'm finna do this. So look, she had one of them relationships with her dad where it was like, she had tell her dad when she talking to a new boy or when she like a new boy or whatever. So her pops had already heard about me. So, I, so one day I call her, I'm like, hey, ask, ask your dad if, you know what I'm saying, I can come over for like a little movie night or whatever like that, or if she want me to come over in the, in the morning or whatever. She like, just come over your house. She was like, okay, I ask him. So she ended up asking him and her pops was actually cool with me coming over there. Cause he had been hearing about me for a long time and shit like that, we still ain't met. So he wanted to come meet me. So I'm like, bet, what, can, what day can we do it? She was like, Saturday. I'm like, okay, cool. Ooh, that's what I thought she was gonna say anyway. I'm finna be over there on Saturday. So I catch me an Uber over there to her crib. You know what I'm saying? She didn't stay too far from me. Went over her crib, popped out the Uber. You know what I'm saying? Met the pops. Pops was actually cool. Pops was actually one even on that. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I'm presentable. Plus I'm respectful. Yeah, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I do my thing, but you know, I walk in a in an adult, adult house. I'll pull my pants up, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking, yes sir, no sir, you feel me? I'm respectful. So he was fucking with me just cause of that. So when I came over there, it was probably like one, one o'clock in the afternoon, right? So I come over there, her little sister, I think her little sister was had to be like 12 at the time. So she wasn't like a little baby, but she was like, you know what I'm saying, she was she was still young. So we in the living room and we just kicking it, right? It, at first it was regular, you know, I wasn't trying to do too much in this nigga house, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to touch his daughter too much. That's gonna make it a little awkward. So I just wasn't on under there, right? Now at first her pops was like in the kitchen, I think he was cooking something or some shit like that. And he was coming back into the, in the living room to watch the movie with us. I forgot what movie we watched first, but I just know like the movie, the first movie went off and I asked her pops i was like what time you gotta leave he looked at me and he said i don't care you don't care nigga i will go home at one o'clock in the morning you better take something now so i'm looking at him like okay cool then he started walking upstairs and he looked back at me he was like don't leave too late though and i was like all right he was like all right then. he walked upstairs my first thought is like he just walking upstairs to go to his room or something he finna come back downstairs 35 minutes went by this nigga did not come back downstairs now his little sister's room was downstairs, but her room was the basement. So now her little sister go in her room, her pops in her in his room. So I'm like, it's time to make my move. And look, I wanna tell y'all right now, all my youngest watching, especially the fellas, don't do what I do. It took a lot of balls for me to do what I'm finna tell y'all I did while her pops was 
in the house upstairs asleep, and I wasn't even supposed to be in the basement. So that means if he woke up and came downstairs and I went on that couch, and he came downstairs and I was in that basement, I was gonna get my ass whooped. But I didn't care. Like I said, a squirrel was just trying to get his nut. I don't care how it came, you know what I'm saying? And if I had to get my ass whooped to get this right here, I was gonna get my ass whooped, but I was gonna get this right here. So before we go in the basement, I get the, you know what I'm saying, I'm getting freaky, freaky with it, you know what I'm saying? I start licking on that neck. She, I, now I can see she's starting to get like a little turned on and stuff, right? So she looked at me and she was like, babe, I wanna do it. And I was like, for real? She was like, yeah. This, then she said, you got a condom? I said, baby girl, you know I stay strapped. Of course I got a condom. Then she was like, okay. Come downstairs to my room. I was like, all right. So she, she, you know, she grabbed my hand a little girly way. It was all cute and shit. She grabbed my hand. She was leading me to her room. Shit. In my head, I'm like, oh, it's about to go down. Then I get in her room and she like instantly straight on that. Like as soon as, she, as soon as we walked downstairs, her bed was like right there by the stairs on the right side, right? She sat on her bed, grabbed me, took my shirt off, took her shirt off, and we started kissing. Now, we knew we had to do this kind of fast because it ain't no telling when Pop's finna wake up, right? Plus, her little sister is still in her room doing whatever she's doing. So, like, we kissing, so, like, we kissing, but as we kissing, like, she's straight on that. Like, she taking my jeans off, she told me to take my, kick my shoes off, all type of shit. So, I'm like, damn, wait, I wasn't ready. Pineapples, baby. Two, literally two minutes gone by, and I'm butt booty ball naked. And she butt booty ball naked. So, now I rip the condom wrapper off, slip the condom on. And I slide in, right? Court, now this is my first time with a virgin, so I'm trying not to be too frantic. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm trying to get me. I'm trying to get me. And I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie, I kind of forgot she was a virgin when I first slid in, because I put the whole, I ain't gonna say it like that. I put I put the whole cucumber in the peach. And she was like, oh my god, wait, 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 wait. She pushed me back and shit right there, right? So I'm like, damn, okay, I forgot she was ready. My bad. I'm like, my bad, my bad. I didn't know y'all thought she was ready for all that. Woo -woo. So now I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going real super slow for like a good five minutes, right? And surprisingly, she was kind of, you know what I'm saying? She was taking it. I don't know what kind of freak stuff she was on, but she was really taking it. Now she she had her arms on my back like she she had i was like she was she was on her back she had her legs open wide you know what i'm saying i'm in that thing going crazy real slow like though right and then she got her arm like her hands wrapped around my back and she scratching the shit out my back i'm talking about nigga i couldn't even shower right for like four days she's scratching me grabbing me you know what i'm saying like tight as hell and she trying not to like, you know what I'm saying? She trying not to moan real loud because her pops up. So there. like five minutes of me going slow, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like this whole thing just finna go slow for a couple days, you know what I'm saying? First couple times until she get used to this shit, right? She looked at me after that five minutes and she choked me. Like no cap, bro. No, I'm not bullshit. She grabbed my neck, looked at me in my eyes. I'm looking at her like, what the hell? She grabbed my neck, looked at me, and she said, fuck me for real. Like, you ain't gotta say that twice, and I start going crazy. <laughs> you ain't gotta tell me that twice. I start going crazy. She put her, she put her t-shirt in her mouth so she like wouldn't moan too loud. But she was really sitting there taking it. Then now I'm starting switching positions, and I'm going crazy with this girl. Like she been going stupid for like ever. Now at first I thought that she wasn't a virgin. I'm like, this girl gotta be lying. She lying. She took some before and she doing this too good. But her cherry did pop. If y'all don't know what that is, look it up. Her cherry did pop while I was doing it. So I kind of, that's what made me believe it. We end up doing hella positions, you know what I'm saying? She end up on top of me and now she riding the roller coaster. She going crazy. I'm like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. She go so crazy. I go spliggity, spliggity, splash in that thing. But I had the condom on, so we was all good. As soon as I went spliggity, spliggity, splash, we hurried up, put our clothes on like real fast and ran upstairs, right? So I go back to sit on the couch like ain't nothing happened. But I'm like, I got this smile on my face like, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like, you feel me? I'm like, ah! So she put her clothes on. She come upstairs. She's like, hold on. I'm finna see if my dad still sleeps. She go upstairs, go in her dad's room. She come back downstairs. I'm smiling like, you feel me? Big smiling. She like, he still sleep. It's okay. So now we on the couch and we going crazy still. Like, we still kissing. I'm still grabbing on and that thing like that. And man, I, and I, man, I kept that girl for a minute, minute. I kept that girl for a minute. Me and that girl still conversate to this goddamn day. And if, if you watching, baby girl, that was a wonderful experience. Thank you for that. Thank if y'all like that video, make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, follow your boy, Mac Moolah, on Instagram if you aren't already. And like I said, get up in that comment section and let me know if anything like this ever happened to you. Also, let me know if you like the video, man. It's your boy, Mac Moolah, a.k.a. Mr. Moolah Mac, and I'm on when I like to idle wise. Hey. Peace! Cruising on this block, yeah, that's fair. I got more tires. Big pack, no cap, yeah, I got suppliers. I can't trust these niggas, they be sneaking.
bitch and wearing wires. You niggas being rats, bitch.